I don't know any professional real trader who has worked in any sort of institution that just says, oh yeah, here's my stop loss. If it goes against me, I'm just gonna let it hit my stop loss. I don't really care. Look, we're back in Europe. We're here in Lisbon, Portugal. In the past three months, as you guys have seen, we have literally traveled the entire way around the world and we are finally here back in Europe. And tell you what, it does feel good to be back here in Europe. It feels good to be back on a normal time zone. As much as I've loved exploring and stuff like that, the time zones were taking their toll. It's super nice to be back here in Europe, trading on normal time zones, being back in the beautiful sun drinking some beers here in Portugal and living life so for a lot of you guys who don't know this is only gonna be part one of this video we're gonna be here in Lisbon and then part two we're actually gonna be somewhere else which you've probably already seen from the title of this video but only here for one night because this is a one night stopover before I go to the next destination so I've literally just come straight from San Francisco landed here this morning staying here for one night and then the next day we are off to the new place but I thought we'd, we'd just have a little walk around the Sun's about to set so it's cooling down Lisbon is actually very much like San Francisco. It's very hilly. It proper gives that, that vibe. It's actually a really, really cool place. If you guys ever get the chance to visit, highly recommend Lisbon. Portugal is probably one of the coolest places and nicest places I've actually ever been to. The whole lifestyle, everything about it is just incredible. And the nice thing is, it's exactly the same time zone as London, so you guys don't have to worry about trading times. But I was actually here two, almost three, maybe years ago now, here in Lisbon, trading and traveling before I even documented my journey on here. YouTube or Instagram or anything like that and I'm gonna just have a trip down memory lane and just have a walk about take you guys on the road show you where I was staying two plus years ago and I'll upload pictures of the time frames of when I was here but a lot of people think that I've just been trading since I've been sharing my journey here on YouTube which is absolutely not the case I was traveling for two three plus years before I even decided to start to document all of this stuff for you guys so it'll be pretty cool for us to go check out the places of where I used to stay and upload some pictures and show you guys where I used to trade, travel, and make bank. So I'm gonna finish this, sit here, let the sun go down a little bit because it's so hot and I do not fancy walking around all of these hills. Um, and then we're gonna go have a little walk around, but let me just show you guys these views because it is an incredible, incredible spot. I'll give you guys a, a quick apartment tour. You have to excuse the mess. So here's the apartment, kitchen. All of my mess have literally just arrived. Got the laptop, kitchen. Bedroom looks out onto these beautiful, beautiful views. And then we come through here, look at all these open windows. Then we got the bathroom, but of course quite weird, look. Shower door to the bathroom. And also a curtain here in case you want to go out that way, so you can kind of decide which way you want to go out. So yeah, that's, that's the, literally the only reason I got this place. So I think that's just absolutely fantastic. And then if you come out here, we've got this lovely little seating area. We've got the beer, look at this. So we have the castle, the place I was staying at last time I was here was all the way up over that. And that's what we're gonna go do. We're gonna go visit where I was staying before I came here. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna catch the London session before I have to fly in the office. We're gonna be trading live with the gang, hopefully take some US 100 trades and make some money and pay for this trip and pay for the amount of money I've spent on flights in the past two months, literally going around the world. So let's go get on with the evening. <laughs> I used to stay in that one right there, right on that corner. I used to sit on that balcony there. And in the morning, I used to come to that coffee shop, which I think was there or there. So I used to get literally get the bus right there. And I used to sit on that balcony up there and people watch all the way out here. 
So pretty cool to think however many years ago, sat literally right there, and now we're back. And if my memory serves me well, at the bottom of this lift, there is a supermarket that I used to go to, and then across the road, there's another lift that takes you all the way down right into the center of Lisbon. So you can get lifts all the way up, and I've come all the way this, and I've come all the way down, so now we're gonna have to do this trip back up and all the way up, so let's go figure it out. And then we're going in here somewhere and there's another lift that takes us down another level. And then guys, just like that, we are all the way back down at the very, very bottom of Lisbon. But now I'm gonna go have to find some sort of internet cafe because I have no Wi-Fi, no signal, no nothing and figure out a way home because it's a much quicker way than going all that way, all the way back up. We're gonna go walk down to the sea first and then do a big loop and figure our way all the way back up. But look at this, incredible, incredible scenes. Beautiful, Lisbon, you are amazing. We made it safe and sound. Also, bear in mind, guys, I've just come off a 10 hour flight, which I didn't sleep at all. So, so I've pretty much been up for the past over 24 hours. So I'm very, very, very tired. The sun is about to go down to beautiful sunset. Incredible. I'll catch up with you guys in the morning when we're gonna go for a live trading session with the community. I'm gonna bring you guys along and show you as much of it as I can. So live London trading session tomorrow. Let's crush it. Catch you guys then. Good morning, people. What's going on? So, didn't end up taking any trades or jumping on the charts this morning. Um, I was super jet lagged and decided just I'm just gonna sleep in and then be on for the US session later. Literally about to sit here, drink this coffee right now, super tired, and then I'm gonna go head straight to the airport because we are off. But Lisbon, you are beautiful, even though you're super cloudy today. But we will be back. Guys, we're here, here in Oslo, Norway. So we've literally gone around the entire world. I've gone from Jersey to the UK, to Thailand, to Australia, to New Zealand, to America, to Portugal, to now Norway. And this has just been an absolutely insane, insane trip. But nice to be here in Oslo. Should I take you guys around to kind of make this into kind of one, one little montage of just me traveling, trading, moving around. So right now I am just, believe it or not, it's like 10 o'clock at night, but it's incredibly, right here it doesn't really get dark at all many evenings but right now i'm heading to an outdoor calisthenics place where i'm going to get in a little workout and then going to go for a hike to the very very top of this big mountain which i'll show you guys when we come around this corner and then get some food and then see what the day brings us but it's 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 really really nice here the weather's beautiful so probably going to go for a hike get in a workout get some food go for a swim loads of good things no real plans but just going to bring you guys on the road and hopefully inspire you guys to get up get out trade and explore the world but look this is the mountain that we're gonna hike up people what's going on so we end up going for a big hike and then this morning I've just come to grab some coffee treated a little bit of the London session but it's the first day after we had the 4th of July yesterday so I'm not looking to jump into anything until at least the US session however I just want to see how things were looking and it's looking fairly quiet so for now we're just going to continue to walk around the park get some steps in and then I'm going to go head into town because I've lost my sunglasses I need to buy some new sunglasses and I'm going to go get set up for the US session. It's a very, very nice day today, so maybe we'll end up going for a swim or something like that. I'm gonna take you guys 
around today in the life here in Oslo and go do some cool stuff. So let's go. Uh, Alright guys, so traded the US session, um, I took one trade and I ended up closing it at a 0.2% loss which was actually fantastic because I checked it later on in the evening and it would have been a full loss if I didn't manage it so well. This is the importance of managing your positions with no emotions, okay? If you're in a long position, which I was, and the charts are printing bearish candles against you, then there's absolutely no reason to hold that position. The only reason you hold on to losing trades and you take full losses is because you're too married to a bias and you're too obsessed with wanting to put your opinions on the market. Whereas for me, if I'm in a long position and it's going against me and I see that price is telling me to get out, such as printing, for example, bearish engulfing candles, on any retracement, I'm gonna look to close my position. And this is the thing with trading is most of the time, as long as you don't have a stupid stop loss, you can end up closing your trade at pretty much break even. Most of the time I will close it at break even or sometimes I'll take a little 0.5, 0.2% loss. Most of the time I won't take a full 1% loss and that's because I manage my positions the way I do. And it's super important that I don't think a lot of people talk about is a lot of people I know if they get into a trade, they'll either let it hit stop loss or let it hit take profit. And for me, this makes no sense. I don't know any professional real trader who has worked in any sort of institution that just says, oh yeah, here's my stop loss. If it goes against me, I'm just gonna let it hit my stop loss. I don't really care. That is a very emotional way to trade, okay? You need to manage your trades and trade with zero emotions and zero expectations and just fully be in the zone and fully trade exactly what you're seeing, okay? And I guarantee if you guys start doing this, you'll stop taking full losses. Remember, the most basic saying in trading is keep your losses small and, and let your winners run. You can't keep your losses small if you just keep taking full losses, full 1% losses time and time again. Of course, there's always going to be times where you take full losses because the market just goes against you and doesn't give you the opportunity to get out of break even. The price session doesn't tell you to get out of break even. But that again is part of the game. But as long as you manage your positions well with no emotions and no ego, I guarantee you, you're going to do a lot better. So this has been pretty much a very all over the place vlog as always, but pretty much been in Oslo now for three weeks, I believe. And most of the time, to be honest, I've just been enjoying summer. It's nice to be back in Europe, enjoying the sun, drinking lots of iced coffee and pretty much my routine here is a travel trader so i'm an hour ahead of london which is really really nice so i get that one step ahead so i wake up in the morning i'll trade mainly two hours of london and then i'll go get some steps in i'll go for a swim i'll go go to the gym and then i'll come back and i'll trade three to four hours of the u.s session and then i have the evenings to do my own thing whether that be again go for a nice swim there's so many places to swim here and also if you guys ever get the chance it's definitely worth checking out or i go eat good food i'm here with my friends at the minutes who have come to visit so i'm staying with them so either we go eat good food we go work out we just go for a walk and just enjoy life remember not enough people in my opinion in the trading industry are preaching the lifestyle of trading okay lots of people think the more time you spend on the charts the more money you're going to make the more trades you take the more money you make it's not the case okay you have to prioritize your lifestyle you want to be a trader for the freedom aspect but most of the time most people can't bear to not be looking at the charts 24 7 and for me i'm the complete opposite and that's why i try to preach as much as i can in the community and that's why i have a whole section dedicated to lifestyle and psychology because this is the most important part of trading that not many courses or communities really talk or teach. You might get the odd thing, it's like, yeah, freedom and stuff like that, but for me, what I do in my community is I record audios. So I just, maybe if I go for a walk and I'm feeling inspired, I'll just record an audio and I'll talk about stuff like this that I'm talking to you guys about, or I'm just talking about if I've taken a loss, I'll go talk about what I do when I've taken a loss, how I come back and how I refresh. And people get in the community just can just put in their headphones, listen to me talk, listen to me rant, and take a lot of value from it. So if you're wanting to join my community purely for signals, then it's probably not for you. Yes, you'll get my live trades, you'll get my full core strategy, all that sort of thing, but you'll get much more than that. You'll get the whole lifestyle aspect. I mean, there's been even been in there people before who asked for fitness plans and stuff like that. I'll give all that to you as well. That is so important in order for you to succeed in trading. Remember, there's lots of other things that you need to become a consistently profitable trader. It's not just staying in charge. You need to work out, you need to eat good food, you need to meditate, you need to be happy and do all these sorts of things. And I guarantee you, these things will really help your game. Slight rant there, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm pretty much gonna wrap up here because today I am leaving Oslo. And you guys are thinking, wow, you are going somewhere else again. I know I cannot keep up with myself, but yeah, I am going to a brand new destination today. It's not the most exciting place in the world. I'm going to Glasgow in Scotland for the weekend. I'm going to a festival with some friends and then I'm gonna be back home. So that's probably where 
I will catch up with you guys next. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this travel series. We've literally been in the past three months, four months around the entire world. So it's gonna be nice to go home, spend some time with the family, catch up with friends. I'm gonna be home for one to two months and then we're gonna be back on the road, going to brand new destinations and of course, taking you guys along on the journey. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Remember, please, if you did like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you just leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, all of that good stuff and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.